why did God make prayer in the first place? Think about it. We have very short time. I just want to we say the psychology of prayer, the mind of prayer, the mind behind prayer, the mind that makes prayer effective. So if I don't know why God made prayer, can I use prayer effectively? No. So why do you think God made prayer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very good. So prayer is a means and a way of communication to God. Correct? So number one, let's establish God is a human being like me. Speaks Bemba like me. <laughs> Who is God? God is a spirit. So look at one of the things Jesus taught you to pray. He says, when you come to pray, after this manner. So what is Jesus giving you? Not a prayer, but a template to pray by. So if you want to write an executive summary of something, you get a template, then you put in your own details, isn't it? You don't go and submit my template because that's my own, not yours, isn't it? So you know the structure, the format of it, then you can put your own content in it and you can submit it and they give you brilliant executive summary. Correct? Because you have followed the template. So what is Jesus giving you? Not a prayer, but what? A template for prayer. That you now, taking, having understanding of it, populating it, you get the result. So what is the number one thing that makes us ineffective in prayer? ignorance of the ways and the laws of prayer so imagine you are praying with ignorance and you are the loudest in the room is it by sound effectiveness in prayer is not by sound or length of prayer have you seen us trying to pray have you seen how lengthy we go what are we doing he says they love to pray to be seen of men a reward that thing was a waste of time there's nothing in that prayer he was just trying to impress people gymnastics isn't it so if I therefore want to pray I will come to so let me give just use this one first look at when you say our father when I say father what comes to you it was what I said to pastor Yvonne that brought me here when I say our father what picture comes to you the picture that comes to you is a male man sitting in your house you are going to do isn't it is God a male man so when you look at the word spirit so who is God when they say God is your father what should come to your mind not a male patriarch sitting as the head with white beards what should come what does the word father mean my source my origin where i get everything from so when i'm coming to god and saying my father what are you saying you are not thinking on the level of the flesh you are thinking on a spiritual level saying you are the source i know you are the source i know every i'm saying to myself that even though so he says my father who art in heaven that means i am not looking at the earthly realm anymore in the earth i see limitation in the spirit even if it doesn't exist it is created so when i'm coming to pray my father i'm knowing that that thing if it's not possible it will be possible if it hasn't been made it will be created for me because he is my source so what does it tell you about prayer again? It tells you that prayer is the seed of your desire that you put, just like you put seed in the ground, you delight, you bring your prayer into your source and your source will cause it to come down as answer. You know what I said to Daniel? He says, I have, God sent me because of your word. Your words have been heard in heaven. And we we'll look at that. And therefore I am come to give you notice what prayer brought not the physical thing i have come to give you understanding why when you take what i give you and you do it 
so why is it that most of our prayer don't get answered let me just put that there because the psychology of prayer for most of us is that you sit down wait for god to do it you've prayed you fold your hand you say it's by grace isn't it you don't know that after you have prayed that's when you just started fulfilling it the pastor talk about elijah praying on the mountain so why didn't what did god do first kings 18 elijah go and show yourself to Ahab, for i hear a sound of abundance of rain so elijah got out of his bush and went to show himself to ahab is ahab trying to kill him of course ahab he has sent spies all over to the point where elijah is telling the man go and tell the king i'm here he says mm, you i know you if i go and tell him now you disappear then he will kill me i'm not going leave me alone if you truly want me to go promise me you will show what is he saying he's saying that when you have prayed and you have heard even if they want to kill you you will go and face the person but how can you say you have prayed then you are running away from goliath how how will you get your result so i can't say i'm praying and i'm not living by faith i'm not going to step out to do then elijah goes restores the relationship repairs the altar after he has done that fire fell if it's me and you you will stay in service powerful service wonder oh did you see fire what did elijah do he left service and he went up to birth rain why is he getting results and me and, because if we want to be like elijah elijah we must do like elijah we must follow the same procedure so what does prayer put you it puts you in the ring can you say go forward without moving towards the red sea you are finished once you start praying you can't hide anymore have you noticed most of us praying is in caves we come to church to hide you go home to do nothing it's the psychology of it isn't it so when i start to pray what i've determined is that i'm going out to do from the minute i pray i'm going out to take action why i've prayed to my source i believe look how it says hallowed be your name holy is your name apart from why am i worshiping you because holy means you can't lie i'm praying to you because i believe in you that you cannot lie so if i don't have that mindset when i'm praying what am i doing i'm wasting my time there's nothing in that prayer it's a waste of time it's not going to happen did you see the woman with the issue of blood if only i touch the helm of his gum if only i touch if only i touch if only i touch what did he make her do she moved the mind you have concerning prayer will determine what you will do to make sure you so prayer effectiveness is not that you prayed is that you are taking steps based on your belief in fact you will not pray if you don't believe is your source my spirit spirit source he says is the father of all spirits what does it tell you about prayer prayer is for spirits and spiritual people carnal people waste of time because the carnal mind minds the things of the flesh so they are more interested in who is looking at me who came who didn't came those are things we are bothered about who is seeing me who is hearing me you may think it's a lie but ask yourself sometimes when you are praying you know what's in your mind so success or failure is based on the psychology you have in prayer